Hey there, Scorpio. This is Chronic Joy Tarot, and this is going to be your mid-month update for August 2017. If you're new to my channel, um, thank you for visiting. Please know that my style is very, um, um, it, it's a self-awareness sort of style, and we take, it's a personal development um, opportunity, and we take um, aspects of ourselves that we may be able to focus on for the next couple weeks until the next reading and learn how to develop, you know, your higher self. This is not a predictive channel. I don't take, um, I don't always take every card literally. I go with my intuition and what comes up for me and um, then convey that to you. I always pull one oracle card to give us a topic. And then the Zen Tarot deck here is my go-to deck for the in-depth reading. Um, these two decks this month I'm using, the Oracle deck from Messages from the Angels, Doreen Virtue, and then as always the Osho Zen Tarot deck. These two decks were the first decks I ever received from one of my favorite Scorpios ever, thank you, and this was the beginning for me. These decks are kind of like home. I um, developed my my, I use these decks as tools and develop my intuitive gift, and here I am now, several years later, but still here. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what it is you might be able to focus on in the next couple weeks. So this is the angel called Celeste, and she says, A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. Okay, so... I'm going to just venture to guess that this is, since this is a general reading, that this isn't going to be literal for every single one of you, right? You're not all planning to move. You're not all planning a new job. But let's just say um, a shift in either work or home, a shift in those areas. And this could be a spiritual shift or a physical one, maybe redecorating, maybe um, getting a promotion. Um, Maybe it is a literal move. Maybe it is literally getting a new job. But let's just keep in mind that since we have such a pool, hundreds of us um, following this reading, that it could mean a few different things for each of you. And it could mean that you're um, gaining a new perspective on either one of these things. If you're unhappy in your job, perhaps you're going to find a new way to see it or, um, you know, create a new friendship with a coworker and makes it a little more pleasant to be there or, or something like that. So something is positive with work or home. Let's just leave it at that, okay? Coming up. Here's our starting point here, and that's the card of exhaustion. So Scorpio, I'm gonna think that perhaps the status quo, the, the home life or the work life that you're in now might have you feeling a little spread thin and, you know, with this being end of summer, if you're a parent, you're definitely spread thin. You're ready for school to come back in. Um, if this is, uh, you know, this is most definitely like physical exhaustion. That's what I'm getting from this. So if you're at a place where oh, you're kind of over it and you need, you need um, um, you know, a re rejuvenation sort of, you know, in your life to get, to get motivated again, um, that could have to do with your work or home, okay? Let's see, let's see what's next here. The position of this card here is the block. So this whole spread is called the flying bird. The left side of the wing are internal energies and things that happen within you that others may not see right away. And the right side wing is um, external energies and the way they show up in your world. The center is where you are starting from. This is your point of liftoff. This is called the fear of flying. This is the one thing that could um, block your progress. And then you come to a new level, level of awareness here at the end of the reading. So in relation to feeling exhausted and knowing that there's a shift coming in your home or work life. Yes. So internally, it's a time for healing. And this doesn't mean you know, um, it's all gonna be wrapped up in a bow and you're gonna feel better and then the next step you're gonna take is nice and happy. This is a process. We're constantly 
shedding and emerging, and that has a healing effect on our spirit, but we're constantly, you know, we don't just arrive at a place in life and then we're there and that's where you stay happily ever after. That isn't what living is and that's a false way of seeing it. Life, it's constant. You're never done, you never get it done, and you can never get anything wrong because it's never done. You have the next decision to make and the next space to emerge to and the next thing to leave, you know, the next thing to shed from your life and then the next space to expand to. It's constant. And if you think that you're just going to acquire and get and be in a place and when I'm there, that's when I'll be happy, that's just the backwards way to see it. That's not a happy way to live, right? We're constantly growing. We're constantly healing. The healing here in particular is the con, is the, um, not the contrast, but the um, connection between your intuition and your third chakra. So this is self-empowerment and what you know to be right intrinsically. You know, your intuition, your higher, um, your higher self knows. It will have a healing effect on your heart. And so back to the original subject, you know, looking for a new way, a new way to engage with others at work or to, you know, um, maybe redecorate your home or within your family unit and at home, find new ways to relate and communicate coming from the heart, coming from a place of love will alleviate that exhaustion that you're feeling if this is you. Okay. And I should say too, Scorpio, if this isn't resonating for you, find your rising sign and your, your moon sign, your lunar sign, um, and see if those readings resonate. Cause being general, it's hard for it to click for every single person every time. Um, okay. Yeah, you're on your way to a higher way of seeing things and a higher space to operate from. You can emerge from this lower level um, physical density to a higher space. If you, you know, you create the hope within you and you can go anywhere, right? Create that hope that you're ready to make some shifts to bring in positive energy in, in, with work or home and it will alleviate some of that heavier, denser energy that you may be experiencing look to you know your higher self both these cards tap into your higher your intuition and your um you know that sixth chakra and so your um you know your path is cut is, is set for you if you want to follow it it's just up to you it's up to you if you want to <laughs> embrace the changes that are coming okay that's the next card change this is an internal energy to the position that it's in but it's also a major arcana this is a this is a um, shift that you can create within you that can bring out change in your life it's it's internal though it's an inside job if you think that waiting around for somebody to, to um, you know hold your hand and take you to the next step or bring more positive energy to your work life or you know nothing can change without your consent and if you want to see change it's up to you okay the mind card this is a okay this is an external energy so this is showing mental exhaustion this is showing that um you know the thoughts you think are creating your life as you know what you focus on will grow whatever it is so careful of the thoughts you're thinking be careful of um you know if things are feeling negative at home or work be careful of how much you lament over that and how much you notice the things that aren't working notice the things that um are possible to shift notice those things that are the gifts in because every situation has a good side every situation has a positive even though you cannot always see it notice it more and um, it'll help you yeah it'll help you create an internal space of self-empowerment this third chakra in this figure is lit up because we are creators we are the creators of our life you know it's not if you're going to stick with a victim mentality and say the circumstances that happened around me are making my life, they're, they're creating my life, that is, there is no empowerment there. That's a disempowered space to operate from. 
what you're wanting to do is shore up your self-empowerment and know that these changes and these positive shifts that you want to make are up to you. They're up to you. And if you want to stay in a place of mental and physical exhaustion, then go ahead and continue to believe that all these outside forces are holding you down. But it's not the truth. And it doesn't happen overnight. And the change isn't going to be swift. But the littlest change and the littlest shift, you know, is important because that, sh that, that tilts, you know, the path. It tilts your path. This change card is really important because notice it's spinning and spinning and the outside, the outer edges of it are feeling that the most. And as we always say, you know, go to the eye of the storm. Get to that calm space in the middle. Get centered because the change will happen and it's okay. But if you're chasing after, you know, external things and trying to um, reach for, I need this to, to be put into place and I need it now, that's going to get you exhausted, okay? Knowing that, okay, I have a difficult relationship with someone at work, but what I'm going to do is every day I'm going to try to find some, one thing positive about that person, one thing that I appreciate. If this is a person who yells a lot, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to take, I'm going to, you know, take that yelling and turn it into something. This person is expressive. And maybe they're not feeling heard all the time. So maybe I can find a way to communicate with this person so that they feel heard. So that they don't have to feel like they're shouting in order to be noticed, right? There's just always, always a positive, healing, higher-minded way to see things. Okay? Always. And as you're on this path of trying to shift your perspective and bring in some positive energy, you'll find that the the balances of your life are more in your favor okay you're you're you'll be fully integrated you're outer your inner you're good you're bad you know um just as the sun and the moon come up and down every day your awareness of you know certain quote unquote opposing forces in your life the gap will close because it all is just it's all really just a learning curve all of it and as you change and shed the things that aren't working for you anymore you're you have the space and the freedom to to emerge and expand higher and better you know every space every time that you learn to make a shift in the way you see something you know you have the opportunity to grow and then those opposing forces in your life don't seem as um as much of a contrast because it's all part of the process, right? Day has to be followed by night. It has to, or, you know, we don't get another day, right? So just know it's all part of the process. These changes that you're looking for and these shifts that you're trying to um, impose in your life m may not and probably won't happen overnight, but taking that one step raising your consciousness, getting yourself to a place where you know you're empowered and you know you're creating your path, that's your first, you know, that's your first step to bring those those changes about. Okay? Well, thank you again, Scorpio, for visiting and leave some comments if this is um, working for you. And um, until then, I'll talk to you in September.